All right, here's a question. When is the best time to book a flight? How do you get the best deal? And what are your rights if an airline happens to bump you? These are just some of the questions you might be asking yourself if you're planning a summer trip this summer. Here with all the answers to your travel questions is Condé Nast Traveler contributing editor, our friend, Mark, Mark Elwood. Elwood. I love it. Hello, Self. Mark. First of all, I can't believe Dean can fit in this coach this seat. Is co Look, this wait, is, this is like you don't no even room. have room to, you barely But you've got leg room, in. you've got leg room. I do, there's a great leg room, but uh, I don't know where the things would be. Let's just do this. Yes. Huh? Yes. How about that? Okay, we're better. That's where it's All right, at. so Dean, you said you were trying to find out whether there's a, a proper day or a better day to book an I airline. I actually looked it up online and yeah. it said Tuesday or Wednesday, and I thought, yeah. okay, let me try to find Tuesday or Wednesday. But I found out that is a story that's often repeated. It's Tuesday, it's Wednesday, it's Sunday. Yeah. Actually, I don't buy it. I think you hear so many different things. I think the best time to buy an airline ticket is any time if you plan ahead. But, but, ah. it, but aren't there certain days, though, for real, where people don't travel as much, so there's probably more availability? There are certain days if you're traveling, but in terms of when to book it, you just need to plan ahead. Pick the routes that you usually fly. And there's a great free service called airfarewatchdog.com. Totally free. Okay. It has, yeah, it has a, a whole load of people manually checking flight prices so that when a deal appears on an airline's website, for example, you get an email from them saying, hey, the route you fly is on sale. You jump on it straight there and then. Oh, my gosh. That's I like good. that. You've got to be quick that. about it. Save right? money, Once... being lazy. I love it. Perfect All right. Brilliant. <laughs> so uh, we hear a lot of stories, especially lately, of people getting bumped mm -hmm. off of yeah. their flight. One, one thing that really <laughs> caught everybody's attention. Yes, one that really stood out. Look, airlines, th there will be times when airlines have to involuntarily bump people. And there are, there are sometimes, it's sometimes unavoidable. It's really, you know, it does happen. The most important thing to do when that happens is, first of all, you know, stay polite. This is, you know, the, yeah. people, the people working there are on your side. They want to help. Get them to give you in writing exactly what your rights are oh. because that's that's part of that's part of the rules and they'll know that. Ask nicely. Oh, it's part of the rules. Oh yeah, totally. Okay. And then you say to them, you can be in, in you can get some compensation depending on how much later the, the flight they book you onto arrives. So if it's more than an hour after you were originally scheduled to arrive, you're entitled to love checking you're getting, you're paid. Entitled, you're getting paid. You're bit. entitled to 200% of the one-way oh, fare, 200%? up to $675 okay. if that's a domestic flight. And there are some different rules for international. But, you know, you do get some money if there's a big delay. If you're on, in the seat already and then they ask you to... Because that's uh, we've seen that happen a oh, ton yeah. of times. Should you get up or should you... You should always listen. Remember, this is yeah. about safety. Yeah. And if you, you want to be cooperative. You'll get more from being nice, polite, and helpful. They want to help you. The airlines are on your side if you work yeah. with Sometimes them. Sometimes it doesn't feel like that, but yeah. it does. So let me ask a quick question, because I'm sitting in this economy seat mm -hmm. here, and I have a wonderful person yeah. next to me, so I can move the armrest up. But what is, what is the deal with economy or basic economy? Is there, are they the same thing or premium? What, what, to help me, please. This is a, that's a great question. There's a whole, there's a new set of fares that some of the airlines are bringing in called basic economy. And I think it can be a little confusing. In some ways, it's a great deal because it's the cheapest way to fly on someone like Delta or American because they're competing directly with right. low-cost carriers like, like Spirit. But remember, it does mean you don't get everything. It's basic. It what don't you get? Anything. You, <laughs> <laughs> you get a seat. You, will, you, may not, you may not have the right to bring on a carry-on to put okay, overhead. No luggage, right? You may not get as many good frequent flyer benefits. No, Maybe none. If you're a group, you won't get to sit together because they put those, okay. those, they fill you in at the last minute. So I prefer paying up front. But remember, you can try basic economy, right. but I think it's better to know up front okay. what you're paying. All right, honey. Thank you so much for all your info. I Pleasure. took notes. Well I took done. Notes. I took a couple notes. Yeah. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.